Good morning once again Transformers. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are heading into the weekend. We need to thank him. We need to bless his name. Thank you for tuning in from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today is Friday. We bless the name of the Lord. Before we start, let's turn ourselves into prayer as we commit the day, as we command this morning, and the Lord will bless us. Mighty and everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to bless you for my viewers, for the transformers who have tuned in, for those who will tune in. Declare blessings upon their life, that my Father, as we share your word, may you bless us. We command this morning that my Father, Lord Almighty, to may usher in blessings, to may usher in opportunities, to may usher in my Father, divine helpers, divine enablers in our life, in the name of Jesus Christ. To commit our life, our family, our business, our, my Father, Lord, our place of labor and to your hands, that God Almighty, may we be fruitful, may you bless us, may you see us through, may you protect us, may you preserve us. In Jesus' name I pray, believe and trust him. Amen. This morning, again, we want to continue the topic of abiding. And we need to abide by serving Jesus Christ. As we are in this world, the only thing that we can do as we serve humanity, as we serve God's people, as we serve in our various places, in our business, at home, in our place of labor, more so we need to serve Jesus Christ. We need to abide by serving him. The Bible says in Luke chapter 5 verse 8, I'll read that portion of scripture. Luke 5, 8. The Bible says, But when Simon Peter saw this, he fell down. He fell down at Jesus' feet, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. In verse 9, the Bible says, For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. In verse 10, And so also was James and John the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Jesus. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now you will catch men. From now you are going to become to serve together with me. So Christ is welcoming us to serve him. We need to serve Christ by worshiping him. Peter fell on his knees when he saw what Jesus had done to him. I don't know when we see what Jesus has done to our life by healing us, by providing for us, what do we do? For Peter, he worshiped. For last, let's worship. Let's serve by worshiping him. Has Christ done something in your life? Worship him this morning. Worship through prayer. Worship through so hymns, through songs, through dancing. When our past no longer have a hold in, our, in us, we should always worship Jesus Christ. In you, you are a new creature. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that you are a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. For Peter he saw he was not worthy, but he fell down and worshipped Christ. And Jesus told him, from today you are going to be fishers of men. You are going to serve together with him, together with me. So this morning Jesus is calling you to abide by serving him. And we only serve him. We get this power from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us power for us to be able to serve him. We need the power of the Holy Spirit for us to be able to serve him. For disciples, Jesus had promised that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be my witness 
in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in the outermost part. So as we serve Jesus in whatever capacity, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. And I pray this morning, may the Holy Spirit guide you as you serve Christ. In James chapter 1, verse 17, the Bible says, Every good and perfect gift coming from the Lord. Let's read. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. We need to serve by our talents and our gifts. And here we are told that every gift and every perfect gift is from above. The talent that you have, the gift that you have, may you use it to serve God because it is a gift that has come from God. Serve the Lord with your gift. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we see Paul is comparing the individual in the body of Christ to different parts of the body, the hands, the legs, the eyes, the ears, and each one it is in the same body and it functions differently. So, as being in different, uh, having different talent, having different gifts, we need to serve the body of Christ as one. Even though all have a different purpose and as a different function, all are important. Don't say that my gift will not be seen. It is not worthy in, in the body of Christ. Use it to serve Christ. Use it in the kingdom business. We know and how you, 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 you will be able to know your talents when you pray. Through prayers, it will reveal to you the, your, your, your talents. It will reveal to you your giftings. And you will be able to use it to serve God. So you also you'll be able to know your gifting and your talents by asking others. They will be able to see, yes, you have a gift in singing. You have a gift in evangelism. You have a gift in this and this area. And when you know that, don't hide it. Use it to serve others. Also, you know that you have a gift by practicing and paying attention to what you enjoy most. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10 to 11, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as a good steward of the manifold grace of God. The English Standard Version says, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as a good steward of God's varied grace. In verse 11, if anyone speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability, with God's supplies. That is all things God has been glorified through Christ, uh, Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. So let your gifting be used in serving others. As each one has received a gift, don't say, I do not have a gift, I do not have a talent. You have it. Seek it through prayers and you'll be able to serve others. You'll be able to serve Christ. So we need to abide by serving Christ, serving the body of Christ. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So the gifting that you have, as we abide in serving Christ, we need to abide. Uh, we need to use our gift to serve others. We need to use our gift to serve people. As the scripture has told us, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. The talent that you have, you need to use it to serve Christ. And lastly, we need to serve or abide by serving Christ by through our treasures. We need to serve through our treasures. And we look at this in Matthew chapter uh, 6. From verse 16 onwards, how do we serve God with our treasures? 
We need to serve God with our treasures. From verse 19, the Bible says, Do not lay up yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. Yes, verse 20, But lay up yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. That is from English Standard Version. So our treasures, we should lay it in Christ. We should use it to serve Jesus Christ. And when you use it, we need to be able to serve Jesus Christ by our treasures. The Bible says that we should not lay our treasures, as the scripture said, do not lay you, you are up for yourself treasures on earth. Let our treasures not be on uh, for sure of, for this earthly world, but we should lay it on Christ. Yes, in verse 9, uh, 20 says, Lay up your, yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. We should know that God owns everything. We own nothing. And God entrusts me and you with everything that he has given unto us. Whatever he has given unto us, we need to use it to serve him. I can either increase or diminish what God has given me. God wants us to increase it, and we will increase it by serving him with our treasures. He is a God of multiplication. So whatever we have, we need to use it to serve Jesus Christ in his vineyard. God can call us into account at any time. Whatever God has given us, he can call us into account any time. So whatever God has given you, may you purpose to serve him. And the God will bless you this morning. May you use your talent to serve Christ. May you use your treasures to serve God. May the Holy Spirit help you to serve God. And we need to serve him also by worshiping. We have said by worshiping, by our talents, and by our treasures, and God will bless us. From Monday, we have looked on how to abide. We need to abide by his word. We need to abide by obeying him. We need to abide by loving others. We need to abide by drawing near to him and we need to abide by serving Christ. May this word find a place in your heart to keep it, to meditate upon it, and may it bear fruit in your life, and may your life never remain the same again. Once again, I come to you and I ask, you may be viewing this broadcast, and you say, I have not given my life to Jesus Christ. I invite you to give your life to Jesus Christ. And I tell you, your life will never be the same again. May you repeat these prayers after me and say, Lord Jesus, I come unto you. I am a sinner. Wash me from my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Raise my name in the book of judgment. This morning, I choose to follow you as Lord and Savior. May you strengthen me in the ways of salvation. May you give me a Bible teaching church that I may be able to follow you. I receive you as Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. Thank you for praying this prayer. May you go ahead and start serving Christ. You are born again. For the rest of us, let's commit ourselves into, in prayer and we continue abiding and continue following Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. You have been faithful throughout the week. You have been together with us. As we enter into the weekend, may you bless us. May you help us to obey your word. May you help us to act according to your word. And may you guide us by your Holy Spirit. May you bless us. May you open doors for us. May you, my Father, Lord Almighty, order our step. May Jehovah, King of glory, help us by your Holy Spirit each and every time, each and every day, to the glory and honor of your name. I bless you, Lord, and I exalt you. For I pray this, believe and trusting. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
God bless you. God do you good. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>